Welcome back to the JavaScript tutorial series. In the previous video, we covered variables and data types, which are the building blocks of any programming language. Check out the link in the description to watch the previous video. Today, we'll dive into another fundamental concept, control flow. Control flow statements allow you to control the execution of your code based on certain conditions or loops. This is essential for creating dynamic and interactive programs that can make decisions and perform repetitive tasks. It will enable you to create more complex and powerful JavaScript applications. So, let's get started with conditional statements. Conditional statements are used to execute different blocks of code based on certain conditions. The if statement is the most common conditional statement in JavaScript. It executes a statement if a specified condition is truthy. If the condition is falsy, another statement in the optional else clause will be executed. You can add additional conditions using else if. Use the else if statement to specify a new condition if the previous condition is false. The switch statement is another way to handle multiple conditions. Use the switch statement to select one of many code blocks to be executed. The value of the expression is compared with the values of each case and evaluated once. It executes statements after the first case clause with a matching value until a break statement is encountered. If there is no match, the default code block is executed. Truthy and falsy values. In JavaScript, a truthy value is a value that is considered true when encountered in a Boolean context. All values are truthy unless they are defined as falsy. These are falsy values in JavaScript. All other values are considered truthy. Ternary operator. The ternary operator is a shorthand way to write simple if else statements. It takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark, then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy followed by a colon, and finally the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. This operator is frequently used as an alternative to an if-else statement. Loops. Loops are used to execute a block of code repeatedly. The for loop is used when you know the number of iterations. It is a quick and easy way to run the same code repeatedly. It repeats until a specified condition evaluates to false. There are three optional expressions in for loop statement. Expression one is executed one time before the execution of the code block. Expression two defines the condition for executing the code block. Expression three is executed every time after the code block has been executed. The while loop is used when the number of iterations is unknown and depends on a condition. The condition is evaluated before executing the statement. The do while loop is similar to the while loop, but executes the block at least once. Before checking if the condition is true, then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true. The foreign loop is used to iterate over the properties of an object, including inherited enumerable properties. The loop will iterate over all enumerable properties of the object itself. The for of loop is used to iterate over the values of an iterable object, such as an array, strings, maps, node lists, and more. A for of loop operates on the values sourced from an iterable one by one in sequential order. Break and continue statements. The break statement is used to exit a loop or switch statement prematurely. When break is encountered, the program breaks out of the innermost switch or looping statement and continues executing the next statement after the terminated statement. The continue statement is used to skip the current iteration of a loop. Unlike the break statement, continue does not terminate the execution of the loop entirely, but instead, it jumps back to the next iteration. Control flow is a fundamental aspect of programming. And understanding these concepts will allow you to write more robust and intelligent code that can make decisions and perform repetitive tasks efficiently. In the next video, we will explore functions in JavaScript. So, make sure to watch the next video to continue your journey in mastering JavaScript. And don't forget to like this video 
subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing and keep coding. I'll see you in the next video.